we completed the plant kingdom classification of plant kingdom sparagara rhizopus pinaria teris cycas you are definite of getting one bit from each now today we discuss microbiology microbiology with bacteria and virus bacteria may be complete and virus will be up to symmetry of viruses <coughs> bacteria microbiology is a science which deals with all the organisms which are visible only under microscope for example bacteria virus protozoans algae fungi all these are seen only under microscope this microbiology is called study of microorganism previously but a scientist by name roger stanier proposed that microbiology is not only the study of structure and other aspects of microorganisms but also their artificial culture techniques in special laboratories or in laboratories in special culture media so many aspects are there for example lab is there lactic acid bacteria which helps in the conversion of milk into curd there are so many bacteria from which antibiotics are obtained for example streptomyces is obtained from streptomyces there is one fungi by name penicillium notatum which gives a wonder drug penicillin then bacteria forms the source of so many vitamins amino acids and many other components previously extraction of uranium radium and rare earth metals used to cost more but now by using microbiology or bacteria their cost is reduced very much study of microorganisms in other space or other areas is called exo microbiology <coughs> like this then bit cotton bacillus thuringiensis cotton is incorporated to cotton and thus is resistant to various insecticide this bt bacillus thuringiensis is called as very popularly called as bio insecticide then we discuss about bacteria <coughs> so many aspects structure number number arrangement and then nutrition in bacteria gram staining in bacteria pleomorphic bacteria then we discuss uh, nutrition after that reproduction in bacteria with conjugation transformation transduction and also economic importance of bacteria bacteria useful in agriculture bacteria useful in industry bacteria useful in medicine bacteria useful in uh, biotechnology and harmful bacteria food poisoning bacteria bacterial diseases in plants bacterial diseases in animals and bacterial diseases in human beings after that we discuss viruses in viruses we study about structure and many other aspects structure of tobacco mosaic virus and other aspects then also we discuss replication in viruses and also transmission of viruses viral diseases in plants and finally how viruses are controlled these are the chapters now we discuss some of the questions in bacteria and viruses first <coughs> identify the wrong statement regarding bacteria invagination of plasma membrane are seen in gram gram positive bacteria it is correct what is the invagination of plasma membrane is called suppose this is the bacteria it has a cell wall then this is the plasma membrane which shows invaginations these invaginations of plasma membrane are popularly called mesosomes so these are found in gram positive bacteria mesosomes help in exchange of genetic material equally to the daughter cells breakdown of cell after the binary fission and distribution of cell organelles to the daughter cells then so invagination of plasma membrane is seen in gram positive bacteria is correct ticoic acid is absent in gram positive bacteria is wrong pili are seen in some gram positive bacteria there is a bacterium by name corni bacterium renal <coughs> a bacterium by name corni bacterium renal this is a gram positive bacteria with pili so corni bacterium renal is a gram positive bacteria with pili so pili are found in some gram positive bacteria is correct then flagella are absent in all cocaid bacteria all cocaid bacteria very few bacilli bacteria flagella are completely absent so identify the wrong statement regarding bacteria is ticoic acid is absent in gram positive bacteria it is a wrong statement because ticoic acid is present in gram positive bacteria absent in gram negative bacteria next key good next pathogenic nature of bacteria and plants animals and human beings was first observed by bacteria are going to cause diseases bacteria are responsible for diseases in plants animals and human beings was first experimentally proved not by wittaker and heckel not by levenhock and herenberg not by wittaker and herenberg it is louis pasteur and koch why because louis pasteur was the first scientist to propose that rabies due to dog's bite is caused by some organisms which are definitely smaller than bacteria then koch koch's proposed postulates how to culture a bacterium in the laboratories so pathogenic nature of bacteria 
on plants, <coughs> animals and human beings was first observed by Louis Pasteur and Cook. First option. Next. Scientists associated with the study of bacteria, Ehrenberg, Stanley, Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch, Ivanovsky and Haeckel. Ehrenberg coined the term bacteria. Louis Pasteur popularly known as pasteurization experiments, heating milk and other liquids at about 62.3 degrees centigrade in order to eliminate all harmful microorganisms is called as pasteurization. Conversion of anaerobic bacteria into aerobic bacteria by supply of oxygen externally is called as Pasteur's effect. So, whenever Pasteur name comes, he was related with <coughs> bacteria and he was very popular regarded as father of bacteriology. So, Herrenberg, Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch, Robert Koch proposed postulates regarding this and <coughs> Heckel, Heckel's name is also associated with bacteria. So, some tests associated with the study of bacteria are Ehrenberg, Louis Pasteur, Robert Koch and Heckel. Study the following table and identify the correct one. Cell wall, muramic acid prevents desiccation is wrong. Cell wall, muramic acid present in the cell wall is correct, but preventing desiccation is done by capsule not by cell wall. Slime layer, polysaccharide, antibiotic resistant. Slime layer is made up of polysaccharides, okay, but it is not giving any antibiotic resistance. It uh, makes the bacterial cell to get attached to hard objects present in the water, plants and other things. Capsule polysaccharide prevents desiccation. Capsule is present above the <coughs> cell wall. Actually, it is called glycocalyx. Glycocalyx in the initial stages is a liquid like form called slime layer. Slowly, slime layer becomes a little bit thick layer called capsule then capsule becomes very much thick layer called S layer. All these three combinedly form glycocalyx. So, here cell wall muramic acid prevents desiccation is wrong. <coughs> Slime layer polysaccharide antibiotic resistance is wrong, but capsule polysaccharide prevents desiccation. Capsule contain maximum water, it prevents the desiccation of drying up of bacterial cell. So, only three is correct. This is an assertion reasoning question. Some microbes help in creating disease free world. Some microbes help in creating disease free worlds. Some microbes produce antibiotics and vaccines which are used in curing the disease or protecting us from getting diseases. Some microbes, Streptomyces griseus gives streptomycin and cyclohexamide. Pencilium notatum gives penicillin. So, like this, so many antibiotics or chemicals obtained from bacteria are useful in creating a disease free world. Like that some microbes help in creating disease free world is correct. How they are maintaining a disease world, disease free world is reason. Some microbes produce antibiotics and vaccines which are used in curing the diseases or protecting us from diseases. So, this is A and R are correct, R is the correct explanation of A. <coughs> now, this is a matching column. Study the following list and identify the correct matching. Christispera, Beggiotova, Lactobacillus, Escherichia coli, Gram negative, Spiral, Filamentous, Spherical, Gram positive. Christispera is spiral. Christispera and <coughs> Spirochyta are spiral chain like bacteria. Beggiotova is filamentous. Beggiotova is long filamentous special bacterium. It appears like threads or filaments. Lactobacillus. Lactobacillus is a gram positive bacterium which helps in the conversion of milk into curd. Escherichia coli. Escherichia coli is a gram negative bacterium. So, Christispera is a spiral. Beggiotova is filamentous. Lactobacillus is gram positive. E. coli is gram negative. So, study the following list and identify the correct matching is F2, B3, C5, D1. A trichus bacteria among the following. What is A trichus bacteria based on the flagella number and other things? Bacteria are divided into different categories. One is A trichus bacteria, the other is monotrichus bacteria, third is lopotrichus bacteria. Fourth is Amphitrichus bacterium. Last is Peritrichus bacterium. <coughs>
these five types based on the number of cells. A trichus bacterium without any flagella. Flagella are completely absent. Monotrichus bacterium only one flagella. Lopotrichus bacterium bunch of flagella only on one side. Amphitrichus bacterium bunch of flagella on both sides. And peritrichus bacteria flagella all over the body of bacterial cell. So, this is the distribution according to number and arrangement or nature and arrangement of flagella. Atrichus without bacteria, without flagella. Monotrichus single flagella. Lopotrichus bunch of flagella on one side. Amphitrichus bunch of flagella on both sides. And peritrichus bacteria with flagella throughout the body. So, atrichus bacteria among the following is Thiomargarita namabiensis is a spherical bacteria which does not possess any flagella. Epilopisium fischelsoni is the largest rod shaped bacterium which is obtained from the gut of a special special fish called Acanthurus nigrofuscus. A special fish called Acanthurus nigrofuscus gut gives rise to the largest rod shaped bacterium Epilopisium fischelsoni. This is also a atrichus bacteria. Streptococcus. Streptococcus is also a atrichus bacterium because all cocci circular bacteria do not possess flagella. So, atrichus bacterium among the following. Thiomargarita namibiensis is said to be the largest spherical bacterium which is obtained from ocean sediments of Namibia. <coughs> from the ocean sediments of Namibia, we have discovered this Thiomargarita namibiensis. Epulopisium fischelsoni is the largest rod shaped bacterium which was discovered from the gut of a fish called Acanthurus nigrofuscus and Streptococcus is a spherical bacterium. So, 4 A, B, C all the 4 is correct. Arrange the following based on their length. Arrange the following based on their length. Pili is a little bit smaller, slightly larger than Pili, sex Pili and definitely larger is flagella. So, Pili is slightly shorter, sex Pili when compared with Pili it is larger and flagella are still larger. So, answer is B, C, A. Pili helps in attaching the bacterial cell to some hard objects. Sex Pili is useful in the formation of conjugation canal during conjugation. So, answer is Pili. Sex pili flagella based on their length. <coughs> Next, <coughs> identify the statements among the following and choose the correct one mostly. Mesosomes help in the formation of daughter cells during binary fusion. Definitely, mesosomes are the components which cause a ridge or cleft or cell plate like formation in between two daughter nuclei and resulting in the formation of each cell into two cells. In gram positive bacteria foldings, infolding of cell membrane are called mesosomes. It is also correct. Mesosomes help in chromosomal replication and its distribution equal distribution to daughter bacterium cells. Mesosomes definitely help in chromosomal replication and its distribution to special daughter bacterial cells. Mesosomes increase the absorption of nutrients. Mesosomes because of their foldings, they increase the absorption of nutrients. So, mesosomes help in the information, help in the information of daughter cells during their binary fission. In gram positive bacterium, infoldings of cell membrane are called mesosomes. <coughs> mesosomes help in chromosomal replication and their distribution to the daughter bacterial cell. Mesosomes increase the absorption of nutrients and all are correct. So, answer is 1, 2, 3, Now, these are a matching column. Any molecules, penicillin, streptomyces, thiomargarita. Any molecules, any molecules always by Leeuwenhoek. Any molecules always by Leeuwenhoek. Penicillin, penicillin by Alexander Fleming. Penicillin by Alexander Fleming. Streptomycin, streptomycin is by <coughs> Waxman. Streptomycin is by Waxman. Thiomargarita is by Hedis Schulz. Hedy Schulz was the scientist who discovered Thio Margarita. So, any molecules, the term any molecules was given by Leeuwenhoek, which later converted into bacteria by Ehrenberg. Penicillin is extracted by Alexander Fleming, a wonder drug. Streptomycin is always by Waxman, and Thio Margarita is by Hedy Schulz. So, the matching is third one A to 
B3, C4, D1. This is about matching question. Choose the correct statements in the following. Bacteria are included in the single class called Schizomyces. Why they are kept in Schizomyces? Because the main method of reproduction is binary fission. That is why bacteria are included in a single class called Schizomyces. Bacteria chromosomes has no histone proteins. So, in it is, uh, this is also correct. Bacterial chromosome is circular and does not show any histone proteins. The characteristic mode of reproduction in bacteria is binary fission. So, always the maximum method of reproduction in bacteria is binary fission. The cell wall of gram positive bacteria contain ticoic acid. The cell wall of <coughs> gram positive bacteria contain ticoic acid. So, bacteria are included in a single class called schizomyces is correct. Bacterial chromosome has no histone proteins is correct. The characteristic mode of reproduction in bacteria is binary fission is correct. The cell wall of gram positive bacteria contain ticoic acid is correct. So, answer is 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth option. This is an assertion reasoning question. Acetobacter is a pleomorphic bacterium. Acetobacter is a pleomorphic bacterium is wrong. Pleomorphism means a bacteria changing its shape according to nutritional requirements and environmental effects. Pleomorphism, pleomorphic bacteria is acetobacter. This bacter, acetobacter changes its shape according to nutritional requirements and environmental conditions. So, pleomorphic bacteria are a bacterium that exhibits pleomorphism <coughs> is acetobacter, not azatobacter. So, assertion is wrong. Pleomorphic bacteria change their shape depending upon the type of environment and nutrients available. So, this is correct. Pleomorphic bacteria always change their shapes depending upon the type of environment and nutrients available. So, answer is A is false, R is true. Find out the correct feature related to lactic acid bacteria lab, LEAB, grow in milk and convert into curd. It is correct. Improve nutritional quality by increasing vitamin B12. This is also correct. It increases cyanocobalamin or vitamin B12 to increase the nutritional quality. Checking the disease causing microbes. So, it also con controls the disease causing microbes. So, find out the correct features related to lactic acid bacteria LAB is grow in milk and convert it to curd is correct. Improves nutritional quality and increasing the by increasing the vitamin B12 or cyanocobalamin is correct. Checking this is causing microbes is correct. So, answer is 1, 2 and 3. So, third option. This is an assertion and reasoning question. Assertion. Bit cotton is resistant to attack by insect pests. Bit cotton is nothing but a cotton infested with Bacillus thuringiensis. A cotton infested with Bacillus thuringiensis is BT cotton or simply called as bit cotton. By genetic engineering methods, the scientists have introduced Bacillus thuringiensis toxin scenes into plants. BT cotton or Bacillus thuringiensis is resistant to attack by insect pests is correct. How it entered? By genetic engineering method, scientists have introduced Bacillus thuringiensis toxin genes into plants is correct. So, both E and R are correct. R is the correct explanation of A. First option. In the following member, Alexander Fleming discovered antibiotic. Alexander Fleming discovered Alexander Fleming name associated with penicillin. Penicillin is obtained from <coughs> Penicillium notatum. Penicillin is obtained from Penicillium notatum. Penicillium notatum is a fungi belonging to a special class called Ascomyces. So, Penicillium notatum is the fungi <coughs> from where Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin and Penicillium notatum is a fungi. So, the question is a simple question. In the following member, Alexander Fleming discovered antibiotic. Not algae, not bacteria, not yeast, it is fungi, penicillium notatum. This is an assertion reasoning question. E. coli, Escherichia coli is a gram negative bacteria. This is correct. 
Picoic acid is absent in the cell wall of gram negative bacteria. So, E. coli is a gram negative bacteria not because only the character that ticoic acid is absent in cell wall of gram negative bacteria. E. coli is a gram negative bacteria is correct, ticoic acid is absent in the cell wall of gram negative bacteria is correct, but the special reason is not because of the ticoic acid absent in the cell wall, the gram negative nature of E. coli is decided, it, there are so many other features also. So, both are correct, not related, hence A and R are true, R is not the correct explanation of A, second option for this question. Now, study the following table, structure, composition, function, capsule, polysaccharides, immunogenic, here we have to identify incorrect one, capsule, polysaccharides, immunogenic is correct, plasma membrane lipoproteins protection from desiccation is wrong, cell wall peptidoglycan pathogenic nature is correct. So, in this 1, 2, 3, which one is wrong? capsule made up of polysaccharides, it is immunogenic is correct. Plasma membrane made up of lipoproteins is perfectly correct, but it is not giving protection from desiccation. It is not at all involved with desiccation factor or something like that. Cell wall peptidoglycan, cell wall is made up of peptidoglycans or muramic acid or murines, which gives pathogenic nature. So, 1 and 3 are correct, second is wrong. So, answer for this incorrect is 2 only. No, this is a assertion reasoning question. Rhizobium grows as a symbiont in the roots of legume plants. We all know biofertilizer rhizobium inoculants means rhizobium. Rhizobium lives in the root nodules of legumes. Help in nitrogen fixation is a special feature of all legumes, what you call all rhizobium bacteria which enter leguminous roots and form root nodules and help in nitrogen fixation. Reason, all bacteria acts as symbionts. All bacteria acts as symbionts is wrong. Some are pathogenic, some are saprophytic, some are parasitic. So, so many types of bacteria are there. You cannot simply say that all bacteria acts as indigates, as acts as symbionts when rhizobium grows as a symbiont in the root nodules of legume. So, rhizobium grows in the root nodules of legumes is correct. All bacteria are symbiotic is wrong. So, A is true or is false. Involutions of cell membrane of a bacteria are known as involutions means the folding inside foldings inside in the bacterial cells are not called as ribosomes they are not called as lomosomes they are not called as plasmids ribosomes are 70s ribosomes present as polysomes lomosomes are not found in bacterial cells plasmids extra chromosomal genetic material circular chromosomal genetic material with some special properties are plasmids with the R plasmid, P plasmid, F plasmid and coliplasmid. The answer involutions of cell membrane of bacterium are popularly known as mesosomes, third option. Gas vacuoles are commonly seen in, gas vacuoles are special vacuoles in some bacteria, gas vacuoles are special vacuoles in some bacteria which are impermeable to water, but permeable to gases, permeable to gases. These make the bacteria to float on water, these make the bacteria to float on water. So, gas vacuoles are very important. These gas vacuoles are impermeable to water. They do not allow water to go inside, but they are permeable to gases. They allow the gas to pass through <coughs> chromatium, chlorobium, nitrosomonas. Chromatium, chlorobium shows gas vacuoles. Nitrosomonas does not show gas vacuoles. So, answer is 1 and 2 are correct. Arrange the following in a sequence from periphery towards the center of a bacterial endospore. Every cell produces one endospore during unfavorable conditions. In this endospore, the outermost layer is called spore coat. Inner to spore coat, there is a layer called cortex. Inner next to cortex, plasma membrane is present and finally, spore wall is present. So, outermost layer is spore coat. Next to spore coat, there is a cortex. Next to cortex, there is 
so first is spore coat then is spore wall then is cortex and finally plasma membrane so 3 2 1 4 what is 3 spore coat what is 2 cortex what is 1 spore wall and 4 plasma membrane 3 2 1 four in center from towards the periphery to center <coughs> periphery to center arrange the following structures in bacterial center from periphery to center bacterial endospore periphery to center fourth one 4 2 1 3 what are the exosporium spore coat cortex and spore wall so same question a little bit exosporium is additionally given <coughs> now bacterium host disease bacterium host disease Ervinia host is animal actinomyces treponema man syphilis bacillus animal anthrax corneal bacterium plant diphtheria so 2 and 4 are 2 <coughs> and 3 are correct combinations treponema in man syphilis bacillus animals and anthrax <coughs> and corneal bacterium plant diphtheria is wrong ervinia animal actinomyces is wrong this is regarding antibiotics obtained from various bacteria cyclohexamide oxytetracycline amphotericon neomycin cyclohexamide is from streptomyces griseus 5 oxytetracycline is from streptomyces <coughs> rhamnosus streptomyces rhamnosus amphotericon is from streptomyces nodosus and neomycin is from streptomyces fradiae so cyclohexamide is from streptomyces griseus cyclohexamide and streptomycin both are obtained from streptomyces griseus oxytetracycline is obtained from streptomyces rhamnosus amphotericon is obtained from streptomyces nodosus neomycin is obtained from streptomyces fradiae so a4 b1 c2 d3 this is the correct combination so what are the bacillus likely formis is giving bacitracin so no bacitracin is given in that side so cyclohexamide streptomyces griseus oxytetracycline streptomyces rhamnosus amphotericon streptomyces nodosus neomycin streptomyces fradiae this is various antibiotics obtained from bacteria match the following identify the correct match clostridium felsinium clostridium felsinium is rating of fiber clostridium butyricum and clasmidium felsinium helps in rating of fiber streptomyces nodosus is amphotericon amphotericon brevi pactum or brevi bacterium or brevi bactum or whatever it may be it is giving single celled proteins micrococcus micrococcus also used in curing tea bacillus megatherium is used in curing tobacco leaves micrococcus helps in curing tea so clostridium felsinium rating of fibers streptomyces nodosus amphotericon brevi bactum single celled protein streptomyces venezuela gives chloramphenicol that is not given Micrococcus is used in curing tea leaves. So, second option. <coughs> Lederberg and Tatum discovered conjugation in bacteria, particularly in Escherichia coli. There are two bacteria in this: gram positive, gram negative. Gram positive is called F plus. Gram negative is called F minus. In gram positive, there is a plasmid, <coughs> and this plasmid replicates. In gram negative, there is sorry. In F plus, gram. plasmid is there in f minus plasmid is not there f plus plasmid replicates and this plasmid passes through the sex pili conjugation canal enters the female cell and converts the female cell into male cell so this is conjugation it is the only physical contact in transformation and transduction there is no physical contact so only physical contact <coughs> by which reproduction takes place in bacteria is conjugation lederberg and tatum discovered conjugation in escherichia coli <coughs> the bacterium using in rating of sunham Bacillus is used in ammonification. Brevi bacterium or brevi bacterium is used as a single cell protein. Micrococcus is used in different purpose, but now the bacterium is used in rating Sunham peas, Clostridium felsinium and Clostridium butyricum. Two bacteria are widely used in rating of Sunham. What is rating? Extraction of fiber from the plant is called as rating. <coughs> brevi bacterium is a bacterium. Brevi bacterium is a bacterium. used in lysine production lysine production is given by <coughs> corneobacterium glutamicum so 
So, coronary bacterium glutamicum gives lysine. <coughs> ethanol, ethanol is given by Zymomonas mobilis, <coughs> Zymomonas mobilis or thermo anaerobacterium, thermo anaerobacterium ethanolicus, thermo anaerobacterium ethanolicus. Bio insecticide, we all know just now we discovered about bio insecticides, Bacillus thuringiensis. So, Corinne bacterium glutamicum gives lysine. Ethanol is obtained from Zymomonas mobilis thermo anaerobacter ethanolicus. Bio insecticide bacterium is Bacillus thuringiensis. So, question is. Brevibactam, Brevibactam is a bacterium which is used as a single celled protein. <coughs> Pasteurella causes the following diseases in human beings. Pasteurella pestis always causes plague. Leprosy is caused by Corine, leprosy is caused by Mycobacterium lepri. Typhoid is caused by Diplococcus or Salmonella typhi or Salmonella typhi murium. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholera. So, plague is caused by Passerella pestis. Leprosy is caused by Mycobacterium lepri. Typhoid is caused by Salmonella typhi. Cholera is caused by Vibrio cholera. So, Passerella causes the following diseases in human beings is plague. Pseudomonas causes wilt disease in Wilt in Solanaceae plants, wilt in Solanaceae plants is always caused by Pseudomonas solanaceorum. So, wilt in Solanaceae plants is caused by Pseudomonas solanaceorum. So, Pseudomonas causes wilt disease in the members of members of not Fabaceae, members of not Malvaceae, members of not Astraceae, members of Solanaceae. So, Pseudomonas causes wilt disease in the members of Solanaceae. <coughs> Blight of rice is caused by <coughs> citrus canker, <coughs> angular leaf spot in cotton. and blight in rice, all are caused by single genus <coughs> Xanthomonas. Citrus canker is caused by Xanthomonas citri variety, Xanthomonas citri. Angular leaf spot is caused by Xanthomonas malvaceorum. Blight in rice is caused by Xanthomonas oryzae. So, Citrus canker is by Xanthomona citri. <coughs> Blight of rice. Blight of rice is caused by Xanthomona sorise. Irvinia amylovora cause fire blight in apples. Pseudomona solanaceorum, Pseudomonas and many other things are there. Agrobacterium tumefasius causes crown gall in apples. So, these are the answer is 1. HFR strains formed during bacterial conjugation. HFR means high frequency plasmids. Here the plasmid is incorporated into the DNA of bacterial cell. During replication, two cells come close. During conjugation, two cells come close and sex pili form conjugation can occur. Immediately HFR strain undergo replication and enters the other cell either completely or partially. That is why the zygote formed is called partial zygote. So, binary fusion is wrong, transformation is wrong, transduction is wrong answer is conjugation. The substance that helps in the integration of single stranded DNA fragment into bacterial chromosome during bacterial transformation not exonuclease, exonuclease only cuts the DNA into small bits, not endonuclease, not DNA binding proteins, but it is competence of specific protein which makes the DNA to enter bacterial cell and fuses with the bacterial DNA or host bacterial DNA in an inherited form. So, the substance that helps in the integration of single stranded DNA fragment 
into bacterial chromosome during bacterial transformation is competence specific protein. Viruses are involved in one of the following methods of bacterial reproduction. Viruses are involved in a special method called transduction. What is transduction? Transduction was reported in Salmonella typhimurium by Zinder and Lederberg. What is transformation? Transduction? The transfer of bacterial DNA from one bacteria to other bacteria with the help of bacteriophage is called transduction. The movement or transfer of genetic material from one bacteria to other bacteria with the help of a bacteriophage is called as transduction. So, lytic cycle is wrong, lysogenic cycle is wrong, transformation is incorporation of foreign DNA from the surroundings into the bacterial cells. So, answer is transduction. <coughs> Which of the following is correct sequence events during binary fusion? New cells, new cell wall is laid, appearance of constriction, invagination of plasma membrane, DNA replicates. First, replication of DNA takes place, then invagination of plasma membrane occurs, then appearance of constriction occurs, then new cell wall is laid. It is correct sequence. DNA replication, invagination of plasma membrane, appearance of constriction and new cell wall is laid. So, third one, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, this is a matching question again. Blast of rice, blight of rice is by Xanthomonas varice. So, one is D. Citrus canker is by Xanthomonas axanopodis PV pathogenic variety citri. Xanthomonas axanopodis pathogenic variety citri. Fire blight of apples, fire blight of apples, Ervinia amylovara, wilt in tomato, Pseudomonas solanaceae Fire blight of apples, that apple is included here, Ervinia mistakenly. So, fire blight of apples, so blast blight of rice is Xanthomonas varice, citrus canker is Xanthomonas axanopodis PV citri, fire blight of apples is Pseudomonas solanaceae and wilt of tomato is, wilt of tomato is Pseudomonas solanaceae fire blight of apples is Ervinia amylovora. So, A D, 1 D, 2 A, 3 B, 4 C. Bacteria used in retting of sunham. Again extraction of fiber, Clostridium felsinium and Clostridium butyricum, Clostridium fensinium, Clostridium butyricum, Clostridium tetani, Clostridium acetobutylicum. So, Clostridium fensilium, felsinium, Clostridium butyricum 1 and 2 will be the answer. Clostridium tetani causes tetanus, Clostridium acetobutylicum forms the source of acetone and butanol. So, answer is 1. This is a assertion reasoning question. Some bacteria are treated as scavengers of nature because they clean the atmosphere. Why they are called as scavengers of nature? Because dead bodies of plants and animals are decomposed by some bacteria. Because the dead bodies of plants and animals are decomposed by bacteria, they are called scavengers of nature. So, A and R are true, R is the correct explanation of A. So, some bacteria are treated as scavengers of nature is correct. Why they are called scavengers of nature is reason dead bodies of plants and animals are decomposed by some <coughs> bacteria, saprophytic bacteria. A and R are true, R is the correct explanation of A. In biotechnology, Agrobacterium tumefaciens plays a very, very important role. So, in biotechnology, Agrobacterium tumefaciens called Ti plasmid, tumefaciens, Agrobacterium in tumefaciens is called. Ti plasmid that means tumor inducing plasmid. So, in biotechnology agrobacterium tumefaciens plays a very important role. It is used as a vector in genetic engineering. This Ti plasmid is very popular vector in producing clones, biotechnology clones. So, both A and R are correct, R is the correct explanation of A. So, in a agrobacterium tumefaciens, agrobacterium Tumefaciens cause fire blight in apples, fire blight in apples and special feature is it has Ti plasmid. What is Ti plasmid? Tumor inducing plasmid, tumor inducing plasmid. This tumor inducing plasmid is having the capacity of getting foreign DNA and showing maximum replication. 
whenever plasmid undergoes replication along with foreign DNA same copies of genes are produced which is called as clones. So, agrobacterium and biotechnology agrobacterium tumefaciens plays a very important role is correct. Why it plays an important role means it is used as a vector in genetic engineering is correct. So, both A and R are correct or is the correct explanation of A. Next another assertion symbiotic bacteria are pathogenic in nature <coughs> symbiotic bacteria are pathogenic in nature Escherichia coli is a common symbiont found in human intestine symbiotic bacteria pathogenic nature is wrong symbiotic bacteria pathogenic in nature is wrong because all symbiotic bacteria are very much useful for example rhizobium it is useful in nitrogen fixation by their living in root nodules of legumes rhizobium contains that specific enzyme called nitrogenase nitrogenase breaks the triple bond strong triple bond between molecular nitrogen present in nature so symbiotic bacteria are pathogenic in nature is wrong Escherichia coli is a common symbiont found in human intestine is correct. So, all symbiotic bacteria are not pathogenic they are useful what is symbiosis a close association between two completely different individuals where both are getting benefited is symbiosis. So, symbiotic bacteria are pathogenic nature is wrong Escherichia coli is a common symbiont found in human intestine is correct. So, A is false or is true. So, these are some of the questions in bacteria important questions now we go to viruses viruses up to symmetry virus is a cellular organism a cellular means it do not have any life outside the host it is non living and crystalline inside the host they cause lot of diseases there are some non living characters and some living characters what are non living characters they do not show a complete identity they do not have any life outside the host two they do not have protoplasm and nucleus three they are outside the host completely non living and crystalline <coughs> these are some of the non living characters coming to the living characters once they enter the host they cause diseases then they show genetic continuity genetic continuity and above all they show response to mutations because of this they are said to be living. So, viruses are connecting link between living and non living components is the general statement viruses are nothing but poison virus means a poison no virus is useful even common cold is unbelievable transmittable diseases from 1 percent to <coughs> then person virus are discovered first by Louis Pasteur who discovered rabies is caused by some organism not the bacteria later Edward Jenner discovered smallpox vaccination then Adolf Mayer discovered tobacco mosaic disease is caused by some organism smaller than bacteria those uh, small particles are called as filterable agents by Ivanovsky then contagium vivum fluidum by Beiserink he called the term virus first tobacco mosaic virus is obtained in a pure crystalline form by W. M. Stanley chemical nature of viruses was proved by Borden and Pyrie Franklin Conrad proved that RNA is the genetic material in plants then Gerer and Schramm proposed that virus contain genetic material which is not only genetic material but also a pathogenic component so like this lot of history so many important aspects now we discuss some questions first <coughs> the non living character of viruses absence of rna is wrong absence of dna virus so say the dna rna presence of inorganic crystals definitely it is present as per inorganic crystal outside the host no response to external stimuli irritability is completely absent in viruses so, irritability is the primary character of almost all living component. So, because it does not show any response to external stimuli this is a non living character of viruses. So, fourth option <coughs> Edward Jenner discovered Edward Jenner is a very popular scientist who proposed that smallpox disease is caused by some organism which is definitely smaller than bacteria by discovering the smallpox vaccination he also discovered a vaccination for smallpox. So, smallpox virus rabies virus vaccination for rabies is by Louis Pasteur vaccination for smallpox is by <coughs> Edward Jenner. The existence of disease causing organisms smaller than bacteria was indicated by Ivanovsky. Ivanovsky is a scientist <coughs> who took the sap of 
mosaic infected leaves of sap from mosaic infected leaves of tobacco. He allowed this sap to pass through a filter paper. Filter paper shows minute pores through which even bacteria cannot pass, but the particles present in the sap are easily moving through these pores. Hence, he called them as filterable agents. So, he called those particles present in the sap of mosaic infected leaves of tobacco as filterable agents. So, the existence of disease causing agents smaller than bacteria was indicated by Ivanovsky as filterable agents. The distinct nature of virus was established by Beisering, very popular man. He took the sap of mosaic infected leaves of tobacco. He took the sap of mosaic infected leaves of tobacco and rubbed to healthy leaves. Surprisingly, healthy leaves also got disease. That is why he called that sap as contagium vivum fluidum, which is nothing but contagious living fluid. With this term contagium vivum fluidum, he proved the particles present in the sap are causing the disease. Because they are poisonic in nature causing the disease, he coined the term <coughs> virus. So, Peary chemical nature of viruses along with Borden, Gerer along with Stram proved that the genetic material of virus is not only a genetic material, but also cause diseases. Protein component of virus was first discovered by protein component of virus means viruses are basically made up of basically made up of nucleoproteins. They show a nucleic acid either DNA or RNA. Then they are surrounded by a protein coat called capsid protein coat. So, Borden and Peary proved the protein nature of viruses. So, Scram, Franklin Conrad proved the genetic nature of RNA in plant viruses. Gerer and Schramm just now I told genetic material of virus is not only genetic material, but also infectious agent. So, fifth question answer is 1. Oh, 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 oh,